man hey I looked at him no that's not a man that's a woman wearing a man's clothes how did they destroy his masculinity mommy boy wound mommy boy wound the masculine that men that don't have any bites any strength anymore to go and be the warrior and the lion they are created to be so when they go out there they'll say ah hey traffic was too much there that's why i came there, there, there is nothing they don't have stamina they don't have perseverance when they see a little obstacle they give up once he tell them go and get that contract he said i got there and we waited for two hours I, I just had to carry my things and go and when they want to marry they look for hard-working women that are making a lot of money because actually it's their mother they are looking for they're looking for mommy so they marry a mommy and some of us women have that so we be there mommy him you even give him money he goes to present to your family and says dowry he didn't marry you you married him you are hoping that he will be better after you marry him now you're married him you can see now you are the one taking care of that whole family you're the one buying all the goods paying the rent he's your car that he drove to go and see your people they they hid it well so that whatever nobody will know lest they think whatever but now what is happening when you marry a man you're going to sustain that man in that marriage oppression whether it's colonization appetite whatever all form of slip rips men of manhood is a very damaging thing the people who do such things and that's the same thing when you do it in the family that's why authentic manhood is called the art of fatherhood a pastor needs to know it so you know how to raise healthy people and not damage them how to raise people to be healthy without damages if not you can end up damaging the image of God in a man in the name of over controlling women over controlling women and when that hole is in a woman the spirit of Jezebel easily enters to accommodate it The mother's wound and the mother's wound also happen to ladies the way it happens is uh, uh, the greatest manifestation of mother's wound in women is the absent mother's wound where she wasn't there it takes a woman to guide a woman into womanhood there are basic things there are little little things some mothers don't know you have to discuss sex at a certain age when her body start changing when menstruation start there are talks that are feminine talk and it's, it takes a mom to help her daughter let her know there's nothing wrong with you you're having painful, painful menstruation it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you it's just your body and this is how this thing goes you are still because insecurity starts all kinds of confusion starts inside and some can't understand what is happening to them they are left on their themselves and they go out there some crazy girl or sometimes a boy that teaches her and the boy that teaches you your womanhood will rape you of it it's a boy out there that teaches her this is how you cannot be pregnant this is how you can this is what you must on. You don't. Boys are boys. Born again boys. Unborn again boys. Men are men. If you put yam before goat, goat will eat it. Be saying he is born again. You go inside and lie with him in a hotel room. You say, I know, I just visited him on the weekend. You know, I know John is such a gentleman. He's born again. He's such a, a good guy. He is so gentle. So I just spent only two days with him in his house. Ask him to be honest. He didn't tell you what was happening all through the night while you were sleeping. That he wasn't sleeping. He will get up. The born again nature inside will restrain him. He will go pray. The prayer doesn't work. He comes back. He looks at something. He, he turns another. And some of you will even catch him trying to misbehave so he said hey joe what are you doing he said you know i'm all right i'm all right he said you're all right you're a naive woman you were not properly mentored you believe you can keep good for lion you won't eat it 
Many are carrying wounds because they didn't respect the boundary God set there. We all kinds of things and be showing boys and believe, ah, you know, he's born again, he's born again. Men are moved by sight. Men are moved by sight. Born again or not. They asked Billy Graham, he said, you are a man of impeccable integrity. You are known to have high moral standards and you have set an example for American preachers. He said, he said, how did you do it? He said, because I recognize that I'm vulnerable to women. So, and I'm put a boundary. I don't carry ladies in my car. I don't, I don't do something. He said something clear boundary and he even typed it and told his staff and other pastors that work with him to hold him accountable. I don't want to wait till I fall. I know I'm weak in that side. He said, that's why I did it. He said, I'm not known today to be a man of integrity because I'm better than others. It's just because I set the boundary that protected me. He said, the second thing is that because I know that I have weaknesses in the area of money, I set financial boundaries. I don't touch money. I don't handle money. There are accountants. There are all kinds of, there is a team who manage that. And so, he kept me free from trouble. They pay me my allowance. I get my allowance. I spend the one that is mine. So, I, that's how I never had the problem. Not because I'm stronger than some of the people you call with. No, but because I'm actually weaker than them and I told myself the truth and put the boundary and he, for him I heard he said when you sit in the front of a car driving with a lady on your side and those laps are showing he said each time I turn I start losing control even as a Billy Graham so I knew I had to stop carrying women in my car unless my wife is there stop deceiving yourself that you are strong the Bible said let he that thinketh his stand take heed let it say for Oh, we're going to solve this problem. I said, you're not living here with any of those things still. No way. No way. Lift up your hands and talk to the Lord. Talk to him. There's something is going to happen in your life. Tell him I lay my life down before you. Whatever it takes. Don't leave me the way you met me. Don't leave me the way you met me. I will show you how to heal relationship with your mom how to heal relationship with your father every girl need to know how to do that every man need to know how to heal relationship with your dad Hallelujah. Project Malachi chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. I want us to pray about this. Project.